at the line. It's going to be Jack Beckman, the number one qualifier, and Jeff Arend. Beckman set both ends of the track records here on Friday night. Talking about that matchup, John Forrest and Jim had later. Let's go to Dave Reed. Well, let's talk to John Forrest now, who calls your Belinda, California home. I'm pretty sure they don't have many tornadoes there. You may talk like a tornado, but yesterday sure got your attention, didn't it? Nothing like last night. We were in a restaurant downtown, me and Robert having dinner, and this old thing came, and they're saying, everybody in the refrigerator. Well, I'm claustrophobic. I ain't getting in no refrigerator. I told Robert, there's blue skies. We'll outrun it. We took off, got in our Ford, we hit it, and the hail balls were huge. And I drove over a curb, we drove up underneath a bridge, which I thought bridges, if it moves a bridge, we're all smoked anyway, because truckers always go under a bridge. That's, you know, to keep the truck from tipping over. But then later, a guy come up there and said, bridge, the worst place you can be. Robert looked like Spider-Man underneath. We were stuck to the bottom of this bridge. And then it was just gone, so, um, look, whatever. Let's, <laughs> let's talk a little drag race. Ain't no twisters out here today. You got to get your helmet on and get ready to go to work. <laughs> and those shots you saw were from here at the track last night when those tornadoes were coming through. Got everybody's attention. Jeff Wren, the Houston winner. Jack Beckman, a two-time winner this year. Yeah, that Aaron's lucky dog, every time they put that on, it seems like they win the race. Uh, I think lucky they won dog. three out of four when that's been on, including uh, Antron Brown when he had it in Vegas when he won. But that's not the real key. The fact is that car is just running really, really well. Jeff Wren has really struggled in qualifying after looking pretty good coming into this race. Jack Beckman is showing us something this year, a 417, 294 miles an hour, 425 at 300 for Jeff Wren. Now let's go on board with Jeff Wren after struggling and qualifying yesterday. They did okay on Friday, but yesterday they did not get down the racetrack. Good news, they got down the track this time. Bad news, it wasn't quick enough to take out Jack.